no one else here. This is the Plum Valley Campground in Modoc National Forest. And I just heard thunder. <gasps> oh, yeah. I heard some thunder, too. It rained uh, on us last night in the desert. Probably going to rain on us here, too. Mm -hmm. um, so, very cramped. I'm, I'm small. I can fit back there. But hey, you know what? Talk about a big difference. I mean, yesterday we were in completely hot, arid, dry conditions, and then it got windy and rainy last night. Like, really windy. Like, I almost couldn't get the stove to light. Yeah. And now we're in a forest at about the same elevation in California. But California sucks, except for the weather. Sometimes it's nice. And there's a... You might be able to hear a nice uh, creek down there. It's actually running pretty full from all the snow melt. And there's actually a lot of snow still up high. We tried to make it to the... Uh, that pink lady mine we were mentioning earlier, but it's still snowed in. Mm. I know, big sad, sad face right there. But we're gonna try and make it to the rainbow mine tomorrow. Uh, it's lower elevation, so hopefully it won't be snowed in. Made it to the needles mine. Uh, we didn't go to the middle fork mine. We could have, but we just decided that, well, okay. Emily decided that she was hungry, which is fine. It's getting late. So yeah. The fire's finally starting to take off. Yep. And uh, it did rain up here. It actually rained quite a bit this afternoon. Ooh, but... show them my fairy garden. Oh, it's okay. It's not finished yet, but... And this is apparently Emily's fairy garden. I'm not quite sure I understand fairy gardens, but hey, you know what? She's having fun, and maybe there are such things as fairies. I don't know. I'm not the be-all. Anything can happen. Yes, it can. And uh, like the bears, the bears that are coming. I know the bears are coming tonight, so I'm we're scared. ready for them. I'm not. All right. That's all for now. All right, so we made it to the Obsidian Needles Mine. That's pretty much it. And that entire hillside is pretty much just chunks of brownish mahogany obsidian and mixed with black obsidian. A little bit of gray. I think we have some gray stuff in, in the bucket already, right? Yeah. This is the second time we've been here. Yeah, we tried to get to the Pink Lady Mine. That wasn't very successful, sadly. No, we might have found one piece one. of pink on the one road. One piece, just one. But, gee, get a little dramatic, why don't you? The problem is that there's still a lot of snow further up. We're probably about 6,000 feet right now. And the Pink Lady Mine is up kind of like that direction. Uh, over 7,000 feet. So we drove as far as we could, and then we started hiking, and the snow is just too deep. We're not, uh, we didn't come up here for snow hiking. So, but you can see even down here, like, a bunch of old diggings and pits and whatnot. So this area was extensively mined at one point in time for this stuff. But here's this kind of an idea of what's up there. So the glove is just for scale. Look at that. Hmm. That thing is just, like, exploding in color right there. It's awesome. I like this one. I like the shape. Yeah, so she likes this one. You find them like this with just like a lot of black and a little bit of the mahogany or the brown or whatever. And then you find them in almost completely black. Now these right here, these little suckers right here, these are why it's called the obsidian needles mine is because there are needle-like shapes of obsidian. These were not fractured and split off, at least not by people they actually just kind of come out of the ground like that. Well, they do come out of the ground like that. Um, and you can see kind of up close that it's a little bit of a, a needle right there at the tip. And some of them are, are, those jokers are sharp too. I mean, they'll draw blood. This one, yeah, this one right here, this one's like almost like, mm. yeah, that one, you could like, I don't know, you could, that would hurt. Ow. Right, and then just more like this. People apparently make wind chimes out of them and like... For the longer needles? The shorter needles? I think you can make them out of the shorter ones. It just might not sound as nice. But they used to find like 12 and 14, 16 inch ones. Wow. Yeah. That is very long. And this one's got some pretty cool colors too. It's it's more faded. But that can be polished out or when it's, uh, when it's uh, napped, you know, and it's chipped. That'll come out. I mean, easily you're finding ones the size of, you know, your hand handful size ones you know this is a little bit bigger than a baseball and this one here is you know this is approaching softball size right here but i mean look at the color on that joker look it's bigger than my hand yeah well they can't see the colors now with your hand on it 
Let me get out in the sun here a little bit. Sorry. There we go. Let's see. You're fine. You weren't in the way. Oh, where'd the sun go? The sun kind of went away. But, I mean, this stuff is just amazing. I didn't even know it existed until about a year ago. A lot of other people have known. So, yeah, so that's that's what we found there. And where's that pink one? Do you know where that went? Um, hmm. I think we lost another one. Oh, well, we'll find it again. Let's see what's going here. And then we found some other stuff on the way to the pink lady that I don't even know what to call it. I guess it's called Oh, sorry, I guess I'd call it like, what, chocolate obsidian maybe? Call it chocolate obsidian. Yeah, so, it's a new type of obsidian. That's the mahogany stuff right there, right? It's kind of a reddish brown. And then you've got this right here, which is a much deeper brown by comparison. Hopefully that's coming out. Let's kind of get some shade on there. So you can kind of see the difference in colors. Um, this one, oh, sorry. sorry. So that one's even more so that chocolate color mm -hmm. there's a good there's a good surface of it just to compare so there's that color right and then you've got you know this is your ma well, this is your mahogany color so just by comparison well, that one's actually getting approaching color Sorry. but uh you know we didn't Ouch, find really any sharp too any like that around here at least not much of it you know there's another one right there it's like more chocolatey colored as opposed to this really vibrant reddish brown color that's this this one's even just, lighter brown yeah I mean, this stuff is just amazing that is just oh, so cool, cool looking i want like i don't know i want like a wall made out of this stuff or something that would be so cool I don't Okay, so the bird and I are at the uh, Peterson Mountain, or yeah, Peterson Mountain uh, Crystal area, Quartz Crystal area, and so we're just kind of digging around this little dry uh, creek, creek bed. bed. Yeah, although there's a really damp spot there. Uh, there's a little spring actually behind this bush. So anyway, we're just finding right now just stuff like this. There's plenty of quartz to be had. Uh, we found one little point so far. Oh, you hit something hard. Okay, we'll just dig it out carefully. Dig it out carefully. Just kind of find the edges of it and go around the edges of it with your with your pick. All right, so you don't break it if it's something super duper duper. Yep, it's definitely quartz. Let's see. Let's see it look like right there. There's a little tip or point right there. And I mean, great big beautiful crystals come out of here. Um, so anyway, it's kind of hard to, to do this and film, so we're gonna poke around and we see come across anything really unique and spectacular, we'll show you. All right, so we rode up here to Peterson Mountain, which is that mountain back there, and it goes way back, um, is really, really crappy. I mean, right here, this campsite area that we found, it looks really nice, but there were spots where I got stuck a couple times and uh, it, got a, it got a little technical, put it to you that way. Um, we spent about an hour and a half, two hours looking around for quartz. Um, lots of chunks and bits and pieces, but I was doing a little more reading after we got here. One of the issues with this place is that at the top of the mountain and beyond, you can kind of see where all that bare dirt is, almost center frame. Their back are all private uh, claims. Uh, they're mining claims. And all the good stuff comes out of there. Because what happens is all the good stuff is for the most part, not all of it, but a lot of it, is up on the top of that mountain and beyond. And then whatever ends up down here is whatever's eroding out of it. Well, as it gets from the top there to down here to high, it ends up turning into little broken chunklets and bits and pieces and stuff like this. Like, see, there's a good example. That was probably once something nice. And just over the years as it's come down, it's now all broken up. So it's not a complete crystal. 
you could still do something decorative with it, I guess, if you wanted to. But anyway, so that's the challenge you face. Um, sometimes the smaller points will survive um, the, 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 the trip down, but the big ones apparently don't. So, uh, excuse me, allergies are really bothering me. Anyway, so that's what the, that's the kind of stuff you find in here. And the ground is just littered with mostly white stuff. Um, focus. Stupid. Uh, mostly white stuff. There's some clear stuff and a little bit of smoky stuff. Haven't found any amethyst stuff, really. Maybe like one little chip or one piece, but I don't know. You got anything you want to add there? Small person? I know she's pretty worn out. No? Subscribe if you love mountains and getting dirty and having fun. <laughs> <laughs> she said subscribe if you love mountains and getting dirty and having fun. Love it really windy out here. Okay. Till later. Bye. Bye. So it just keeps getting better and better. So off in the distance there is a nice thunderstorm. It's moving right at us. I've been sitting here watching it. It's probably about oh as a crow flies like six or seven miles away. And it's moving towards us. The wind is blowing directly at us and that storm I can see is moving right at us. And then the birds down there screwing around. And I've got a pretty nasty drive actually to get back down. We're not that far from the highway. Here, you, you might be able to hear it, but um, see that river down there? The highway is just on this side of the river. In fact, you might be able to see a car going by right now. It's not that far to the highway. The problem is this road is the craps. I have not been on a road this bad in a long time. So, I don't know. We're going to keep our eye on it and see if we're going to have to bail out of here early. Find somewhere else to hole up because we are pretty exposed up here. I mean, you know, there's that mountain, but there's kind of nasty looking clouds above it and above the next peak. So, yeah. And then there's some random tent over there. It's like a cheap, like, Coleman Walmart type tent. <clears throat> and everyone that we've seen up here, two vehicles, has been on the way out. And we came up here and that was there. So I went over and checked to make sure there was like no one that, you know, had a stroke or something or was, you know, incapacitated, knocked out, but there's no one there. So no one is in need of medical attention. In fact, there's absolutely nothing in the tent. It's completely empty. Weird stuff you find out in the desert. So, all right, I gotta go find the bird. She disappeared. Oh, maybe she went down this hole. Probably not. Let's see. Oh, there she is. Yeah, don't wanna lose track of her. Mom would get really mad if I came home without her. Say hi to Mama. Hi, Mama. It's hi. dumping rain out here. We just barely got off that mountain that we were on. Hey. Thunderstorms everywhere. Yeah, and guess what? I don't know how we're going to camp. Are 